order, followed by the member from Edmonton, South Dakota. Thanks very much, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, after a working group of experts to provide advice was established, they recommended an environmental monitoring agency be set up. But the Environment Minister then needed a management board to direct the creation of this agency. Still with me? Big promises, little results. To the Minister of Environment and SRD, how is the process more transparent when the Cabinet took from June to October to review, vet, and who knows, rewrite this report before the Minister released it? Honourable Minister. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and, and quite frankly, uh, this process has been very open and transparent. We received the report at the end of June. As we had the press release uh, a week ago, uh, certainly the writers of the report were very uh, open in saying how quickly uh, government responded to this and how quickly we responded to taking action on all of the recommendations. And so from the writers of the report themselves, really commending us for the quick action that we're taking to this sure. report. Yes, I know. Hand-chosen patronage is certainly arm's length. Can the minister point out exactly where in the current budget the funding for the expert group and the management board can be found, and where and when exactly will the $50 million come from to run this agency? Where's the money? Honorable Minister. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And uh, early uh, when I was appointed uh, to this ministry, the first thing I did was to make sure that we would have money in our budget, $3 million to be, to be there, to make sure that we had money for the writing of the report and the implementation of this. As Mr. Speaker and as Albertans know, uh, the industry has come forward as well and made commitments with regards to funding this $50 million up to each year for a maximum of three years. And so the money is there. And uh, Mr. Speaker, we have made a commitment under the leadership of this Premier, and, and so has industry to make sure the funding is in place for environmental monitoring. Honourable Member. Well, send me a copy of the budget with that three million underlined because I'd like to see it. Back to the same Minister. Why doesn't the Minister see the conflict of interest created here when industry is supposed to fund and self-monitor and, if non-compliant, then it becomes the polluter pays? How is this not a conflict of interest? Honourable Minister. Well, Mr. Speaker, you know, it's quite interesting. Those that were critics of ours, uh, people like uh, Dr. Schindler, who were quite critical of us in the process before, uh, last week coming forward was saying uh, very positive things about, one, making sure that the finance is in place, making sure that there's an arm's length board that will be re reporting on the science and the data that will be arm's length, and then making sure that we put the funding in with regards to this. Our critics have come forward, brought things forward, and now are saying this is the way that they see it going forward. Very positive comments uh, from that, uh, Mr. Speaker.